Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Philips Air Fryer. This is supposed to be a healthy alternative to deep fry cooking. You can fry, bake, and grill with this unit. It works on hot air. The air fryer is 15.1 inches tall and 11.2 inches wide. The unit is plastic and weighs 15.4 pounds. It can cook up to 28 ounces of food. Included with the unit is a user manual and a recipe book. There's a guide with max amounts and cooking times for frozen food, meat, and french fries. There are recipes for fries, spring rolls, chicken wings, steak, a whole Cornish game hen, salmon, and even vanilla souffle. If you want to try the air fryer for yourself, I've put a link in the description below. The air outlet is in the back and that shouldn't be blocked. There is cord storage on the bottom. On the fryer, there are times and temperatures for different types of food. This is the temperature dial control, and this is the timer. The basket pulls right out and pushes back in easily. Push this button, and it releases the basket. Food goes inside this basket. If you're baking, you can use a metal or ceramic dish of your own inside the basket. You can't use any plastic containers in the basket. Let's go ahead and test the air fryer. I'll be making chicken wings. Plug in the unit, preheat to 360 degrees, turn the temperature dial to 360, and the timer to 3 minutes. You can see the power on indicator lights up. It sounds like a loud fan. The fryer's done preheating. This is 2 pounds of chicken wings. I've put 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil and some spices and mix the chicken really well. Open the basket. It is hot inside, so don't touch the inside. I'll place the chicken inside. There is a max line inside, so you don't want to fill above that. This is about 11 chicken wings. Slide the basket back into the unit. We'll turn the timer on for 15 minutes. We'll shake the chicken halfway through the cooking time. It's been about seven minutes. I'm gonna pull the basket out. You can see this is what the chicken looks like. Just shake it. Doesn't really wanna shake, so I'm just gonna move it around with a spoon. In. It does sound like there's frying going on in there. I can hear the sputtering of the oil. The timer just turned off. Let's open the basket and see if the chicken is done. The skin is a little bit crispy. It looks cooked. I'll cut into a piece. It's super hot. The chicken looks like it's almost cooked. I'm gonna set the timer for six more minutes. The timer's gone off. Let's check on the chicken. That looks better. Chicken looks nice and golden brown. As you can see, one side of the chicken is golden brown and the other side is not. You do have to flip these halfway and shake them so they're evenly cooked. All the parts are very hot, so just make sure to hold onto the handle. There's the basket with a lot of the grease from the chicken on it. There's also a lot of grease in the bottom of the pan. Let's cut into our chicken. It is nice and cooked. The skin is a little crispy. It's not super crispy. You can cook this for longer to make it crispier. You can see some of the chicken is very crispy. This is not. So it's not completely even. Just gonna taste a piece. 
it's very hot. It does taste really good. The chicken's very juicy and moist and very flavorful. And I didn't marinate the chicken. I just put some dry spices on here and put it straight in the air fryer. That skin was crispy. Really tasty chicken. You can use this unit to reheat food. Set the temperature to 300 degrees and the timer for up to 10 minutes. To clean, turn the unit to zero and unplug. Wipe the grease off with a paper towel first and then wash with hot water and dishwashing liquid. This is also dishwasher safe. You can wipe the rest of the air fryer with a damp cloth. Make sure to dry all the parts before putting it in the air fryer. The Philips air fryer did a good job on the chicken wings. The chicken was cooked really well. It tasted really good. It was moist and juicy. You saw the amount of grease that was left in the pan. We only used one tablespoon of oil for the two pounds of chicken wings and most of it was drained off. So this is a healthier way to make chicken wings. When you deep fry food, whatever you're frying will be crispy throughout. Some of the chicken wings were very crispy and others were not so crispy. So you're not going to get a completely even result. Deep frying is a hassle because you have to get rid of the oil, you have to get rid of the smell, and it's unhealthy. This Philips air fryer is a decent alternative to deep frying. I'm going to try making french fries. I'm soaking two medium russet potatoes in water. They're about three inches long and a half inch wide. I'm following the recipe in the air fryer booklet. I'll soak the potatoes for 30 minutes. I'm preheating the fryer at 360 for three minutes. The fryer is preheated. I drained and dried the potatoes with some paper towels and tossed them with one tablespoon of olive oil. Put the potatoes in. You don't want to just dump in the bowl of potatoes because the excess oil on the bottom of the bowl will be on the potatoes and you really don't want that. Set the timer for 30 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. I'm going to open the basket and just shake it around a little. Put it back. There's about eight minutes left on the timer. Looks like it's browning nicely. Shake it around. I'm going to check these because they look like they're almost done. This is crunchy. This is a little bit thinner than the rest of them, so this is done. This is also done. It's crunchy. This is a thicker one. And it is cooked, it's crispy on one side, a little bit softer on the other, so you could let this go for a few more minutes. I'm gonna turn my timer off. When the timer turns off, the unit turns off, so you don't have to worry about overcooking anything or burning your food. All the fries are cooked, and most of them are golden brown. So these two medium russet potatoes cooked in 22 minutes. Sprinkle some salt on them while they're warm. They are so much healthier than deep frying. We only used one tablespoon of olive oil. So this is a really healthy version of french fries. The basket is clean and there's really no oil on the bottom of the pan because we started out with so little. This Philips air fryer is like a mini convection oven. It cooks food really fast with hot air. The air fryer did a good job on the chicken and the french fries. Just a tip, when you clean this basket, don't use a scrubby, just use the smooth side of a sponge. If you have one of those sponges with like a scrubby on the one side and smooth on the other, do not use the scrubby. Because I did that and little parts of the scrubby got stuck to the wire. So it's best to use a very smooth sponge. 
If there's anything that's stuck on the basket or the bottom of the pan, just soak it in hot water and you can wash it with soap after that. The air fryer is very versatile. You can use it to make desserts, appetizers, and entrees. If you deep fry a lot or if you just like french fries and chicken wings and other fried foods a lot, then this Philips air fryer is a good option for you. The link to the Philips air fryer is in the description below. I hope you found this review useful. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.